Give me a snapshot of Kindred AI. What's the problem you guys are trying to solve? We're developing machines with human-like intelligence. And what does that mean exactly? So it means that we have assembled this technology that combined um, what we call visualization. So looking at a scene, ambiguity in a scene, and then not just understand what's there, but also then make a determination with an algorithm that figures out how to pick something up and then how to identify that thing and then how to put that thing somewhere. Automation is uh, the boogeyman, almost. Uh, some people are saying uh, of the working world, right? That uh, it's gonna take away all our jobs, robots are gonna come in and take our jobs. Did you guys just create the arm of the boogeyman, or? There's been, a, there's been a fair amount of concern about robots coming in, taking over jobs, um, you know, taking over humanity itself. We believe the U.S. Um, workforce the workers and the employers will need to embrace AI and robotics in order for, for the U.S. to remain relevant in this global economy. Labor in these places in the country where there's buildings that do this e-commerce fulfillment, um, they can't find people. Mm -hmm. So those, those, those people aren't there anyway. And what we also hear is when they do find those people, the most important thing to our customer is that they keep those people, right? So that they don't, they want to pay them well, they want to give them interesting work. So we believe we're taking the sort of the more mundane work. So this allows the human worker that we collaborate with to do the more interesting work, they get paid better, and it, you know, it's better for the customer and the throughput of the building and all those things. All right, fantastic. So where are you guys using this right now in the real world? Uh, Gap is, is utilizing several of these robots at one of their facilities outside of Nashville. Because our intent is do the pilot proof of concept, get them rolled out there, and then allow the customer to see how the technology works and transform those into many more robots before we get to the Christmas holiday.